Uh, this video is going to be showing you how to draw an optical illusion. Now, this morning I posted a 35 second video and I felt like it was trash because the result didn't even work out that's good. So, this one I know is going to work because I've already done it before and it's perfect. And I wanted to show you guys how I do it. So, I'm just going to cut it into a time lapse video, but before I do that, I'll um, show you guys. Uh, the amazing, amazing, amazing Dino Wolf shirt. You guys can't buy it. I'm sorry. But that was probably upside down for you. Because <laughs> right now I'm recording on my phone. And also, like, I don't have a mount. And this is my setup. I literally mount my camera on the can that holds my colored pencils that I use. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and cut into the time lapse. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this actually good drawing. First part that you want to do is section it into four different parts. I'm pointing it with my ruler. <laughs> and then after that, you kind of just want to add a dot in the corner right here. Well, not really in the corner, but right there. And then another dot like right here. Okay? And then you bring those dots with a line. You bring those dots in with a line towards the center of the paper. And once you do that, there's one of your shapes. We're using triangles, and well, you probably saw at the title of the video of what it's gonna look like. But that's how we section it off, so we can actually make this look like an optical illusion. So you do these for the same sides, and I'll see you guys after with my finished. Thingamadoohy. Okay. As you can see, the dots in each section, some of them I kind of missed, but that actually won't matter just because you can erase the dots and it'll still look very, very good whenever we're doing this. So most of this is based on the curves of which is in each section and also the shading of the color. And this really works with colored pencils not with markers unless they're like i don't know copic markers or i'm just getting rid of the dots here but after you have these you kind uh you need to section each one with curves and what i do is hold on let me just get rid of these dots just dot a lot i'm stuttering in my voice you can hear it probably all right so what you want to do is just pick a random triangle yeah, I'm just going to call them triangles, okay? And then make a curve. That's all you do. And I spaced them between, like, two fingers for the uh, or three for the next swoop. So you get a nice even space for these to be colored. So I do it again. I really want to have some space. And right here you can place another one right until it's, like, right at the end. And then with another one, you want to alternate it with this type of swoop. Oh wait, that's the same. <laughs> oh geez, let me erase that real quick. All right, no, that's not what you wanna do. You wanna put it right underneath this line, you don't wanna attach them, and go over like that. So then it gives an effect, I'm gonna shake off my paper, that these are two like this one looks like it's bulging out, and then this one looks like it's like caving in. And that's the effect that you want. So I'm just gonna do that. And then you just alternate these, and you will see what I mean in just a second. We're done with doing the curves and under curves. It kinda looks like a weird spider web. And then right now, all we need to do is just color it, and it'll look very, very weird. So I'm gonna show you the technique. Uh, to make this actually look good. <coughs> hey, dogs. Shush, shush, shush. They start barking. Up. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a color scheme of purple and teal. And let's do yellow and orange. So the technique for this is... Until, so the... Wow. Well, Alright, so from the top, the lighter it is because that's whenever the light's hitting it. And then more further down you go is the darker it is. So it really helps if you get a 
uh, what is it? There it is. Black colored pencil. And then go just kind of outline one of your segments real quick. You don't need to, you, you will at the end of it do outline all of them because you kind of need the black outline to make it look better for shading. So there's that. There's my black outline, very sloppy because I'm going fast. Probably should just slow down, but who cares? All right, so I'm gonna take my violet and to go whatever. You wanna press down really, really dark on along the edges of the black line. And then sort of get lighter and lighter towards the middle. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So there's one part of that, and then I do it on the other side. Since it's the first one, you probably can go bigger than what I'm doing on the edges, which I'm, I'm gonna make it bigger, because this looks, this looks different. It doesn't look right. So after you do that, kinda take your pencil and slowly get lighter. And you do that all the way through this, alternating colors. So since this is like, I think this is blue, it's not even purple, but then this will be teal, a bit darker purple, bit darker blue I meant, teal, and purple. And then these under curves, you wanna do a different color scheme, like orange and yellow. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know what the heck those sound effects were, but they're cool, okay? So I'm gonna finish this one up, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like so you know what to expect. So as you can tell, I'm just getting very, very lighter. Lighter and lighter and lighter to make this nice shading look to make your optical illusion. So right at this white bit right here, take it very, very lightly. I mean like barely even touching it. So you can get that tint of blue on it, but you know that it's like, see, like that. So what it's supposed to look like, maybe darken this a bit and then get a little, all right. Like that, and then you do it with the teal, and then the blue, and then the teal, and then the blue. So I'll cut back whenever I have this full I column to show you where you don't want to do. You don't want to do what I did right here because now it looks like a box. You really just want to do what I did on the first one and kind of doing it on the side because then it's going to look like that. And also for shading purposes, you cut, where's my black one? Here it is. To help it look even better whenever you fill up all the rows, go back and then kind of add little, little black spikes. Better than what I'm doing right now because, man, that's really bad. You kind of just want to do it a, like right on the outline of the black line that I made earlier. And you really just want to do that. Not very hard because it's going to look ugly. And it sort of helps with the shading. And then you can go... I kind of just rubbed it with my finger a bit. Go back and darken it a bit more with the colored pencil. And it looks really good. Sort of. <laughs> I'm going to fix this box here real quick. And then I'll cut back again. Right at the second box right here, before this last tip right here, you kind of want to add a little bit of black to it to make it look like it's actually getting darker further down. So it could really get that good optical illusion that we're going for. So I'll see you guys in the next lapse you just saw there. I was just fixing this sort of and this sort of. It still doesn't look really good. But this last column, I kind of just added the color really dark. So you can actually just make it super dark. And actually, you don't have to add black. And I said actually like four times now. And I don't even think I was doing it right. So then I'm going to show you how to do the next color scheme. Because it's a bit different. You really, it's like, because you, this is supposed to be the one that's bulging out, like, I don't know how to show it to the camera, like that, and this one right here, it's kind of going like that, no, wait, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to show that, demonstrate that, alright, so we're going to start with orange, right here, and you're going to do the same technique with the darkest on the edges, 
Okay. So it looks like that. And then inspect basically the same technique, but you really want to keep so the. Um, ugh, how do I, how do I say this? So the way you want to color it in the shape of the curve. So you want to constantly color it in like that. So I'll see you in the time. was to show to demonstrate the two first columns of my uh, other under cone I guess to call it under triangle so see how I stayed the same like the I was brushing my colored pencil in the same order as the curve uh, I swear, I don't really like to use yellow in one of these just because it kind of looks it's I just don't recommend it because really it just looks almost the same color and it's really really light but you can only tell the difference in the middle of this i just just i i wouldn't use yellow but i'm still going to use this for this one and i'm going to color all of probably like four columns geez that's going to take a while <laughs> and then after i do that hopefully that'll be a good enough demonstration for you to know what you're doing and then for the rest of the video it's going to be a time lapse of me coloring the rest and then at the end i'm going to show you a couple of different like two more one more different color pattern different color patterns so this one and a different one that i made earlier so i'm just gonna yeah scratch that i'm gonna time lapse this whole entire thing so hopefully you guys will enjoy that so i'll see you there All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was more of an actual tutorial. Uh, I did forget to do this in the time lapse, but you need to go around the edges with a coat of black like it did like right here, sort of. And uh, some, one thing that I didn't mention, you need to go just a little bit around the edges with a black kind of just spiking it to make it pop out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed, so give this video a like. It will be very much appreciated. And I hope you will subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed it. So, I'll see you on. I'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.